Okay, this video I'm going to show you how I end up with uh, PowerPoints like this. This is the uh, PowerPoint I'm going to use for my sermon this weekend. And as you can see as I go through it, the drawing builds. Um, I'm going to show you how I get to this final drawing as it as the, this little pieces that I do. So it begins in this app called Note Shelf, and uh, this is what the final product looks like. Uh, I love Note Shelf, and I'm just going to show you an example of how it works. So I'm going to come over here to a blank piece of uh, a blank page, and the beautiful thing about Note Shelf is that it has this little zoom tool. And a note shelf, this isn't going to be a note shelf tutorial, but I'll just give you a kind of an overview. Note shelf has um, pens, ballpoint pens, and what you can do is choose the color. So I'm going to just choose black. And then here you can choose the size. Um, I like to write with the number four. Um, and uh, the cool thing is that if I, if I just use light pressure, I get that kind of a line. If I, if I press down on it, you can see I can get line variation. That's so cool. I just hit the undo button. Uh, and so uh, what I do is I do handwriting here like this. Let's just do an example here. Handwriting. And then oftentimes I will, you know, like put a, whoops. I'll put a, uh, a box around it like this. And then it has this highlighter tool, and oftentimes I will, if I click, if you click twice on it, it'll bring up your uh, rainbow, and oftentimes I will do a gray, just to give like a, a shadow, boom, like that. And you, if you do it twice, it gets a little more more transparent, um, so it's pretty cool. It also has a pencil, uh, which has texture to it, which I like that very much. And as you can see, um, when you zoom in, it just shows you this little piece of it. Um, here's another couple things you can do. As uh, This is how I actually map out my texts as I'm thinking through. So you can move it around. If you tap on it again, you can hit Transform, which gives you these tools where you can actually um, make it bigger, smaller. You can uh, rotate it, pretty cool, uh, or you hit reset and it'll take you back to the beginning. So the that that's that's how I create these images. Uh, let me go back here to this image. Um, once you get the image done the way you like it, what you want to do is come up here and hit the that little icon in the upper. Um, in this case, it'd be the upper left corner, and it just gives you all the thumbnails and then you hit select and you choose the image that you want and then if you hit export like this you it has all these different choices uh, what I do is make sure that it's on image and then I save it to photo album and we'll go over here to our photo album and you can see that there's the the image itself you can see over here on the left from note shelf it has the data on the bottom and I don't want to have that be part of it so I'll come up here and hit edit and then I'll go to the crop tool and I'll just grab this lower left corner and I'll crop that little thing off I hit done and there is my finished image oftentimes I'll upload this to my blog throughout the week as I'm meditating on it um, but what I want to do now is I will bring it into this app called Procreate. And here, here's the, um, the file as I was using it. And you'll see where I'm going to end up is the power of Procreate is layers. But I'm going to take you to uh, Procreate in its thumbnail stage and take you from the very beginning. So if we check this photo, um, we're going to go to all photos and, and take the image that I just exported from Note Shelf <clears throat> and Procreate will create a file in Procreate that's the exact dimensions of that photo. Now the power of Procreate 
uh, one of the great things it does is it has layers. And you can see here that it has a white background default layer. Um, hit done. And it has layer one, which is the image that you created. Now what I want to do is come up here and hit this. This is the select tool. Now if I use two fingers, I can pinch in and out to move it and to zoom in on it. So the first thing I want to do is figure out the first piece of the image that I want to be displayed in my PowerPoint. And I'll trace it around. Now I have it selected. And if I use three fingers and swipe down, I'll hit copy and paste. And what you'll see here is that it, now it has uh, a separate layer that is just what I selected. So if I unselect the bottom layer, now I can't see it. So what I'll do is you can see it's got some relics from what was underneath it. So I can come up here to uh, my eraser and I'll go to airbrush, medium brush. That's a brush I often use when I'm working on stuff like this. And I will erase these parts that I don't want right here. Now I'm not going to erase all of it because I got a little trick here. Um, you see this gray which in the Note Shelf app was actually a transparent, but now it's just a solid color gray. I'm going to come over here to choose my brushes. And again, I'm going to be an airbrushing medium brush. And if I hold my finger down on the color I want, I can choose that gray color. And then I'm going to just uh, color right over top of that piece. And then I'm going to make my brush, this right here is the brush size. I'm going to make it a little smaller. I'm going to zoom in here so I can see what I'm doing better. And I'm going to actually, oh that, that, I'm going to double, double tap and, uh, to undo. This gray is just a little darker because I went over it twice in Note Shelf. So I'm going to select that dark and boom. Now if I pinch and and kind of snap it it'll snap back to a hundred percent so now you see I have the first section and here I have um, if I make the bottom layer visible you can see that it, it kind of overlaps it uh, that's exactly what I want so now the if I select this bottom layer then I'll go to uh, the second part, part that I want to be displayed. So I'm going to select here, just kind of grab around. And in this particular one, I want to cut this section in half and display it in two parts. So I select that. Once again, three fingers swipe down, copy and paste. It makes a new layer. And I'll make this layer invisible again. And as you can see, uh, here I have some relics here that I want to get rid of, so I'll choose my eraser. I'll zoom in and just erase these parts. And then I'll come over here. And for this particular one, see I'm going to choose this color. I press my finger down, select that color, and I'm just going to airbrush right over top of this. Make that disappear. Um, now notice how this gray doesn't blend really well. A couple things I can do. One is really cool tool is this smudge tool. If I tap it twice, I can open up all my brushes. I'm going to use the same brush. Now notice over here, this is an opacity slider. So I'm going to bring my opacity down and I can just kind of blend these together so I don't have those harsh edges. It's kind of cool. I'm going to come up here and erase the bottom of that. And I'm also going to erase this because I want that word and to disappear. Because I want it to show up later. I, guess I have this, um, this gap in the black line. So what I'm going to do is come over here, uh, make sure I'm on my medium brush again. And I'm going to make my brush even smaller. And then if I hold down on the black, I'm going to select that black. And I'm going to go ahead and put this line in just like that. Now I take two fingers, pinch and snap, 
And here I have my second slide. Boom. Now, normally what I would do is uh, I would go through and create all these layers, which I've already done. So I'm going to go back to the one that's already done. You can see I've got all the layers. So I'll turn this one off. And uh, what's the order that they're in here? We know love by this. I'll turn that one off and turn this one on. That he laid down his life for us. You can see that it kind of ends there. And then I add to that with this one. And we ought to lay down our lives for one another. And then I add this part. And then we add this part. And then, then we just turn these off and we're back to our final drawing. Um, now at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to export this. So I hit the, sh uh, what I'm doing is I'm hitting this little wrench tool. Then I hit the share button and I'm going to export it as a PSD, a Photoshop document to my Dropbox. And you can see in, uh, you, what you can do is change the name of this. And I'll call it, uh, what am I going to call it? Um, First John. Let's call it that. And then you can choose the, lo the location that you want. Um, this actually goes into, uh, let's see, this is my sermon. I want to find my sermons. Boom. My 2017 sermons. And this is Advent Conspiracy Love All. And I want to choose that file and then hit save and what will that what that will do is it will upload to my Dropbox file and then I'll open it up in Photoshop um, but in this demonstration uh, I'm going to show you how you can do all of this completely on an iPad so one thing you can do is one slide at a time so let's uh, make this one invisible this is going to be slide one. So we can come up here to our wrench tool, share as a JPEG, and save it, save image. And that's going to go into my photo roll. Then I'll come up here and I'll choose my second one. Turn that one off. So this is my second slide. And I'm going to share as a JPEG. Slide this over, save image, and that's going to go to my photo roll. So let's see if that actually went to our photo roll. Yep, there they are. So there's that one, there's slide one, and there's slide two. So now these are in my photo roll. So what we can do is just to demonstrate how this works, all within the iPad, we can open up PowerPoint. Now I'm going to close this presentation. Um, close the presentation, there we go, and I'm going to create a new presentation in PowerPoint, we'll just do a blank one, and change layout to blank, because we don't need that, and this particular PowerPoint is a 16 by 9, because that's what our projector is at the campus that I'm preaching at, so what I'm going to do is, if I click insert, I hit photos, hit all photos, and there's those two photos that I just exported. And I'm going to snap it to the corner. I want it to be full screen, so I'm going to snap it to the edges. So there's that one. And then I'll hit New Slide. I'll insert my next photo. Boom, like that. I'll drag it over here. I'm using one finger, dragging, snapping it to the corner. And then dragging this right bottom anchor, snapping it to the bottom. So you see that, uh, see how it kind of slides over a little bit? This first one isn't really snapped all the way to the corner. So let's do that, see if that's better. Yep, now we don't have that snap. So if I come up here to the upper right corner and hit this arrow, this is what the slideshow will look like. Boom, 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 like that. And so you just follow that process until eventually you have all of them put together. I'm just going to delete that draft because I don't need it. And then we'll go to recent and 
We'll come back to, you can see how I did the same thing with um, boom and then boom. And then for this particular sermon, you'll see that um, I actually wanted to throw some slides in between these different sections of my drawing. And so I just hit duplicate. You can hit the duplicate button, make a new slide, and you can insert other things. Let me go ahead and delete that. And so for this one, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, five love languages, and I put some text in here. And then back to the second picture that I exported from my uh, Procreate file. And then, you know, you just build the slides however you want. So you build your PowerPoint. So that is how I go from uh, drawing in note shelf to having a step-by-step -step PowerPoint. So I hope that makes sense and that you enjoyed this video.